today we're going to be drawing over and under, and we'll need some paper, some watercolor, and um, paintbrush and pencil. I hope you will enjoy this video. Over and under the snow. The first thing you're going to need is watercolor paper, preferably 12 by 18 inch. Let's begin. Hi friends, today we're going to be drawing stuff from over and under the snow. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is fold our 12 by 18 inch paper in half, just like this. You want it to be lined up. Mm -hmm. So this part is my over the snow, and this is my under the snow, because in the story we're talking about over and under the snow. Over the snow, under the snow. So in the story, we read about all the different animals that can live under the snow. And the one that we're going to draw today is the chipmunk, right here in the front. So let's draw this chipmunk together. What we need for that is a nice sharp pencil. Pencil. Okay. So we're going to only draw in the under the snow part where our fold is on the bottom half of our paper. So let's get started. First, we're going to draw that nice big oval. That's its house. That's where he's going to live. Perfect. I love your oval. That looks great. Now that we've got our oval, we're going to draw the chipmunk's head. So we draw his nice head over here. There it's we a his nice head. little oval or circle. Yep, we've got his head. Perfect. That looks great. Okay, next we're going to draw his body and his long tail. So we're going to go all the way around. We go to the tip of his tail. Perfect. It's kind of like almost like a whole oval, like the letter C. Let's finish off this big fluffy tail like this. Now we have our chipmunk tail. If we see, we've got a big, his big leg. So let's do his leg park. We got his big hind leg and his foot. Let's finish off his body with some little paws sticking out like that. Now that we have most of our chipmunk done, we're gonna do all of his details. So we're going to put on his cute little chipmunk ears. We're going to do his cute little sleeping eyes because he's sleeping. We'll do a little nose which kind of looks like the shape of a heart. Put his mouth, some little details there. And then he was cr crawling through the ground to make his little tunnel where he was living in the snow. So he needs some claws. Perfect. And then to really make him look like a chipmunk, he needs some stripes. So let's give him some stripes on his face. And then some awesome stripes on his back. And then of course those really pretty stripes that chipmunks have on their tails. And then if we want to make sure that our chipmunk has some things with it in its house, we can give him some leaves. Whatever that you want to put. I love your stripy chipmunk. That looks great. Next, we're going to color. Now it's time to color our chipmunk. We have our colors picked out. You could do colored pencils, oil pastels, or crayons. I have brown, pink, and gray. Let's get started.
Now that we colored our chipmunk and made it, we are going to start painting with our watercolors. Awesome. Nice coloring. I love how your chipmunk turned out. That looks great. And this is the difference. I have an oil pastel one and a colored pencil. They both work. So let's put our colors away and get ready to paint. Now we are going to be doing the watercolor top, top part of our folded page of paper. Yes, so we have our wonderful coloring. We did our one in colored pencil and the other one in oil pastel of our chipmunk. And now we're going to be concentrating on just painting that top part, the over the snow part. So we're going to be using our watercolor paper. We're going to use the top half. And, and our big brush. A nice big brush, some water. And we're just going to be using those two, these two cool colors, like the cool winter sky. So we've got blue and purple that we'll use to paint the blue over the sky. When we're coloring this, we want to make sure that we do just horizontal stripes across the horizon. Remember the horizon goes from one end to the other. So let's keep our sky nice and straight across, nice horizon lines. If you want to mix your colors, you can do it on your color palette like this. Make a pretty um, purple, blue, indigo color like that. Really nice. The lighter the color, you put um, more water in your, in your paint and it'll come out a lighter tint of blue. If you want it to be darker, put less water and it'll be a darker tint of blue or purple. Now that we've got, we've covered our entire over the snow part all the way to the edges, got all the beautiful watercolor paint there. Now we're going to be painting under the snow. We don't want to cover, we don't want to paint where our chipmunk is. We've already done a really nice drawing there. So let's make sure that we're careful when we're coloring around. We're going to just use kind of the colors of the earth. So on our color palettes with our watercolors, that's going to be things such as the greens, the browns, and then black, which when we use more water, we can turn into gray. So we'll be using those three colors to draw, to paint and color under the snow. You'll notice that we're using our color palette to mix the green and the brown. This makes it kind of a muddy dirt color, which and that's what we're trying to do with being under the snow. As you can see, we've finished our painting portion of our project for over and under the snow. They're really wet right now, so we're going to need to let them dry for a while. We're going to um, set them to dry while we work on the next part, which is making some silhouettes for our snowy scene. So we're going to put these aside to dry and then start our next part. In the story, you'll notice there's some beautiful silhouettes of the trees, specifically these beautiful pine trees. You can see they come in different colors, but mostly they're white like the snow. We're going to be cutting out silhouettes to go on our mountain scene of over and under the snow. In the story, again, there's lots of silhouettes. There's, the, a, there's a little chipmunk right there. On the edge. And there's our little chipmunk in the story. So we're going to be um, cutting out some shapes of silhouette trees such as like these. For this part of the project, you're going to need a pencil and a white piece of paper. We're going to be drawing some tree silhouettes that we'll be cutting out. So you want to be thinking about what you can cut out successfully. So I want to cut out, I want to make some tall trees like this. Silhouettes of some trees, maybe a branch like that. And then I want to do some pine trees as well. So 
So remember, we're just doing the silhouette. We don't need to do any details, just the outline of the tree. But yes, uh, a triangle shape is a great shape for a silhouette of a tree. That's awesome. I love that. That will look so fun on our on your over and under the snow scene. You can make them pointy or curvy. Lots of different shapes. A little one that's growing, that's trying to grow. Perfect. Next we're going to cut out the silhouettes of our trees. So we're going to use our scissors and do some cutting. So we've got our completely dry paintings. There's our cute chipmunks under the snow and over the snow painting. But we don't have any, what's our one thing that we're missing on this? Silhouette. Silhouettes, but then the whole story is about what? Snow. Snow. It's about the snow, so we need to add the snow. So for our trees to have somewhere to be, we need to have snow. We've got all of our trees that we've cut out, but now we need to add our snow across so we have somewhere to glue it. So we're gonna take paper, ta-da! Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna cut a nice wobbly line. We, wanna, we don't wanna cover our whole paper, but we want it to be the length of our horizon. Oh, so it does need to be this long, just like this. So we're going to cut a nice, You can draw it or cut it. A nice line to go across the whole paper. Use your scissors and cut it. And this is going to be our horizon of our snow. Just like that. Now that we've made our horizon line, we're going to glue it on to our paper. You can use glue stick or wet glue, whatever you prefer. Make sure it will only stick if your painting is dry. So we're going to make sure it goes across the whole horizon from one side to the other. Cover up that line where you're over the snow and you're under the store. Snow meat. Oh, mine's covering up my chipmunk's house a little bit. Okay, perfect. I like how you're pushing down. Okay. Next part is when we get to add our silhouettes. So we're going to take all those trees that we cut, our different trees, and figure out where we want to glue them, the silhouettes on our scene. And once you've kind of figured out where you want to put them, get out your glue, we're going to glue those on too. We're all done with our over and under the snow project where we have our cute little chipmunk who's living under the snow and our beautiful silhouettes that are against the blue purple sky over the snow. We've used watercolor, drawing, glue, cutting, all sorts of fun techniques here to do this And project. remember to always have fun. And the most thing, important thing is that we had fun in our study of over and under the snow. If you have the book, you can look inside it. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. This was a lot of fun. Hi, friends. This is what our project is going to look like when it's done. I hope you have fun. <laughs>